Hi guys, uh, welcome to the channel Sluggers. Uh, I'm Anupam Mishra and I'll provide a more detailed introduction about myself towards the end of the session. Uh, right now, let's move, jump into the 22nd type of error uh, in the series uh, 50 most essential grammatical errors for the ZAD. Okay, so let's start. However, I would like to first state that this is not just a random list of uh, 50 grammatical errors that we have like, you know, just come up with. Uh, there's in fact uh, quite a uh, logical process uh, involved in creating these this list and uh, the same process I've explained that in detail in a separate video, uh, which you can access by clicking on the link on the top right corner of your video. Okay, so this this diagram pertains to that I've explained all of this, all of this uh, in that video there. Okay, so you can watch that if you want. Okay, so guys, in this uh, installment, we'll discuss the second parameter of agreement between the pronoun and its antecedent, right? Last time we discussed the number parameter. The second parameter is that of gender. That basically means that if you have an antecedent that is male in nature, you need to use the appropriate pronoun, which will be male in nature, right? Like for example, for a person, for if the subject is male, you need to use pronouns like he, him, his, etc. Okay. If it is female in nature, on the other hand, you use a female pronoun. And then there can be other cases among many other cases. There can be some other cases like uh, where, uh, for example, it's an inanimate object, then you might want to use it. Okay, for maybe, and, and then maybe it's an animal, then again, you might want to use it. Unless there's an exception in case of an animal, and that's the exception that we have re reproduced here in this example here. The exception is, before we go to the sentence, I'll, I'll read out to you, the, I'll tell you what the exception is. The exception is that, if the animal happens to be well not maybe a character or something that is like really famous and really really popular okay in that case you would want you would not want to use the it pronoun here okay in that case you will not want to use it if it is something like really famous and uh, really well known then you can't use it like for example in the sentence Stuart Little is a tiny mouse but it is more intelligent than most cats it has been used for the mouse Stuart Little but but now Stuart Little happens to be a although it's a fictional character it's a fictional mouse well so far as we know so uh, uh, but it's still quite famous right uh, it is still quite famous and quite popular and hence in this case you'd want to use he here uh, it's it's a male mouse right so uh, Stuart Little is a tiny mouse but he is more intelligent is more intelligent than most cats right so in this case like because of the exception a will be wrong and b will be correct you can try this uh, with the next sentence. It says, Kobe do the famous dog bought a tail grooming machine for itself. Right? So let me know if you think uh, the sentence is correct. If not, what do you think should be the correct version of the sentence? Finally, guys, my quick introduction. I'm Anupam Mishra and I'm Lucknow alumnus. Um, I have worked in the past with uh, organizations such as Hotstar, UNICEF, Apollo Taz, IMS, etc. I've also worked uh, with an academy as an educator in the past, uh, recognized by, by their Johnny Ive Award. And uh, these, uh, I was like, I was uh, regarded as uh, uh, one of the top uh, VRC educators that they had. Uh, these are my cat credentials, and Sluggers uh, is basically my uh, endeavor to plug in all the crucial gaps that I believe there are in the test prep industry, uh, industry starting with the CAT exam. Okay, now, yeah, so that's about me. Uh, do move on to the next era. Okay.